dear students in this class we are going to study isomerism in coordination compounds we know that isomerism means two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but they may have the same structural formula or a different structural formula but their physical or chemical property must be different the two compounds are called isomers and the phenomenon is called as isomerism that concept of isomerism in coordination compounds we are going to study or in simple coordination compound two or more complexes or coordination compounds having the same molecular formula same structure or different structure but their physical or chemical property must be different such compounds are called isomers and the phenomenon we are going to study is called as isomerism there are mainly two types of isomerism in coordination compounds you can see one is stereo isomerism other one is structural isomerism in stereo isomerism once again there are two types geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism structural isomerism are further classified into four types linkage isomerism coordination isomerism ionization isomerism solvate isomerism we will go one by one first you can study geometrical isomerism comes under stereo isomerism what is geometrical isomerism two or more compounds having the same molecular formula same structural formula nothing but geometric arrangement is also same but different in the spatial arrangement of the ligands simply i repeat two or more complexes having the same molecular formula same structural formula but different in the arrangement of the ligands nothing but spatial arrangement of ligands are different this mainly exists in the complexes like uh, square planar or octahedral having the coordination number 4 and 6 respectively in square planar complex of the formula m x2 l2 where x and l are unidentate that means the ligands having only one donors if two x nothing but two same ligands either x or l the spatial arrangement is different either they are arranged adjacent to it otherwise they are arranged opposite to them based on that the geometrical isomer further classified into cis and trans in cis two same ligands either x or l are adjacent to each other in trans they are opposite to each other another type of square planar complex that is m a b x l where a b x l are unidentates whereas there are different ligands then there are three types of isomer exist two cis forms and one trans you can see the example here m x2 l2 m x2 l2 two complexes same molecular formula platinum dichloride diamine platinum dichloride diamine same structural formula nothing but geometry same square planar but the difference you can find is spatial arrangement of the chloride or amines here two chlorides are on the same side or adjacent to each other whereas here they are on the opposite to each other that's why two same ligands are on the adjacent to each then they are called as cis if they are on the opposite side then they are called trans this type of isomerism is called as geometrical isomerism same molecular formula same structural formula but differ in the arrangement of the ligands if the ligands are on the same side then they are called cis if they are on the opposite side then they are called trans in octahedral complex also we can find the cis and trans here 
the ligands which are in a minimum number x to l power where x is the minimum number that decides cis and trans if it is on the adjacent to each other then it is cis if it is on opposite side then it is trans and cis and trans also exist in diidentate ligands such as ethylene diamine oxalate etc see the st structure of octahedral complex is here cobalt tetramine dichloride cobalt tetramine dichloride two chlorine atoms are on the adjacent ray therefore it is called cis if they are on the opposite side they are that's why they are called as trans diidentate ligand ethylene diamine diidentate but this diidentate doesn't decide here cis and trans whereas which decides chlorine atoms this chloride ions they decide cis and trans if they are adjacent to it then they are cis if they are on the opposite then that is called trans any other type of geometrical isomerism we can find facial and meridian what is facial this mainly exists in the complexes of the a3 p3 that means three ligands are of the same type example cobalt trimine trinitrile cobalt complex here three amine three nitrile the based on the arrangement of these three ligands they are two types facial and meridian what is facial if three same type of ligands are on the adjacent corners of the octahedral face adjacent corners then that is called facial if one of the ligands of three is in the position of meridian of the octahedron then it is called meridional isomer observe here three same ligands nitro 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 are on what adjacent corner otherwise three nh3 nh3 is also adjacent on the corner that's why this type of isomerism is called facial and nitro no2 no2 if they are on the meridian of the octahedron which is on the meridian of the octahedron then that is called as meridian there are then it is two types of geometrical isomers now we can move on to the second type of stereoisomerism this optical isomerism optical isomerism two or more complexes having the same molecular formula same structural formula but different in the direction of the rotation of the planar polarized light if one complex rotates the planar polarized in clockwise then other complex which rotates the planar polarized light in the anti clockwise direction such a type of complexes are called as optical isomers and the phenomenon is called optical isomerism then which compounds are optical active always the enantiomers are optical active what are enantiomers you know the non superimposable compounds on mirror images that means two compounds which are mirror images to each other but are non superimposable but are non superimposable which compounds are non superimposable chiral compounds are non superimposable remember chiral compounds are non superimposable on mirror images such compounds are called enantiomers enantiomers are always optically active those optically active compounds always show what optical isomerism optical isomer already said there are two types one is dextral rotatory another one is levo rotatory the complex which can rotate the plane of polarized light in the clockwise direction then it is called a dextral rotatory if it rotates in the anti clockwise direction then it is called levo rotatory then it is called levo rotatory this is common in uh, octahedral complexes involving diidentate ligands such as ethylene diamine or oxalate example you can see dichloride bis 
18 1 comma 2 diamine cobalt to 4 complex you can see this is the complex dilated complex uh, ligands ethylene diamine cobalt both the compounds are mirror images to each other but non super impure you can shift and lift place over here these two portion come this side and other one is another side therefore they are non uh, super imposable on mirror image this rotates the uh, plane of polarized light clockwise hence it is called extra rotatory other one rotates in the anti-clockwise direction that it is called lever rotator another octahedral complex containing uh, heterolectric three different uh, ligands two chlorine which are on the same side therefore this cis its cis form is always optically active because they are mirror images non superimposable mirror image one rotates clockwise called dextro another one rotates anti clockwise called the levo and uh, its transform remember its transform is always optically inactive because they are superimposable on mirror images they are superimposable on mirror images that's for the optical isomerism